In this video lesson, we're going to introduce Enscape for ARCHICAD. So Enscape is a real-time render engine that can run in many software and can be used also to improve your performance in ARCHICAD in terms of uh, speed of rendering and also uh, to create really easy and simple uh, rendering animation. So if you want to know more, you can just type Enscape ARCHICAD Chaos and you will get into the official website where you can uh, download it, you can buy it, you can try it, you have many different uh, plans and pricing and you can get more information. So you also have a free trial uh, for a certain period where, where you can try all the features of Enscape and uh, decide if you want to uh, move on or not. So um, you can use it for interiors, you can use it for exterior renderings, you can work with the materials, the lights, it's really simple. Uh, way to work in render and um, you have other products for from chaos like v-ray corona which are a little bit more complex so once you download the installation file you just double click and in my case it's in the download folder and then i i can just continue here uh, with a really simple wizard so uh, there's no need for indications here just follow the instructions go next uh, you could choose a language so in my case, uh, I'm going to choose Italian, but you can always change later. Uh, I'm going to show you in English, but anyway, you can also pick other languages and also other applications. You can use it in Revit, in Rhino, in SketchUp, in Vectorworks. We already created for Rhino and for SketchUp, and ARCHICAD is pretty similar, and the same goes for Revit and others. It's, it's pretty similar, so once you understand how it works, you can use it in all these software in a really, really uh, similar way. So I'm going to close this because I've already installed it. So I'm just going to close or you can continue with the installation. And once you're finished with the wizard, just open Enscape by opening the software that you want to use it with. So I'm going to open ARCHICAD and Enscape menu is up there. So if you go up there, you can see the menu here. Really simple, we don't have many tools, just few. I'm gonna explain to you really quickly and easily. So here you have also a toolbar that you can open, which also contains the same features and panels. You can dock it in your interface of your software. You can put it, well, you cannot put it horizontally. You can put it only vertically. It would be nice to have the possibility also to put it horizontally. But anyway, let's. I'm just going to keep it like floating here. I will undock it from the, the interface and I'm going to leave it floating. So these are the two uh, main parts where you will find Enscape installed. If it's not visible, there's something, there's some problem there. Now we're also going to see other panels like for the libraries, for the materials and um, the material editor and um, for the lights you will use the the lights in archicad and you know a lot of stuff it's it's going to come from archicad now in the settings in the general settings also what i recommend is that you turn all these checkbox on because this will give you the best performance in terms of uh, rendering so the best real time rendering the best quality but if you experience you know uh things to go slow or things they don't they they're too laggy you can just deactivate some of those and there's the language so in the preferences you can change the language so right now it's in english but if i want to make it like italian you can see that i need to restart archicad so you need to restart the application order for that to work so next time perhaps i'm i'm gonna use it this time we're gonna go for this and actually I'm gonna keep English for the English course and what else so at the top here where we have also support uh, if you want to get some support of course about if you want to know more about the version and then you have a store where you can get other stuff and then the you can access your cows account and then that's it so that's that's where you find mainly in the in the menu and also i'm gonna 
do something real quick here. So I'm going to draw some walls in ArchiCAD just to do a quick rendering and show you how everything starts. So I'm going to create some walls and then, of course, I'm not going to explain, well, not too much about ArchiCAD because you probably already know it. And also, if you don't know, you will find a, an ArchiCAD video course. So I'm going to put, I'm going to create a roof here with a one um, degree slope. So really flat. I'm going to create a rectangle and there you go. So I have really basic architecture here made of walls, floors, floor and the roof. So I can run, I can start escape for the little button on the top of this toolbar, or I can go in the menu and go to the first button on the top. And after a few seconds, you will see this appearing. And this is the real time rendering, how it works. You can see it's really fluid. We don't experience any lag and it is not slow. We can move around really easily. So that's the power of Enscape, which uses essentially the video game logic. So you can move around using the keys on your keyboard, WASD, and um, you can orbit with the right mouse. Also, um, let me put this here. You can see this is floating on both software. So you can leave it floating around. The, the toolbar. So also one thing that is really important, you can synchronize the two views. So on the top of the of the toolbar, you have these three buttons that are really important. So the first one is to start. The second is to, to have the live update. The third one, which we just clicked on, is to synchronize the views in the two software. So now if I use the navigation system in ArchiCAD, will work also in Enscape, and I can move around really easily. Now, Enscape has its own navigation system, which you can see, oh, let me show you here first. So what we have in the interface, we have a visual settings panel. This is kind of a little bit more advanced and it's to change and customize the visuals. So the, the architecture of visualization, the Enscape window settings is to manage the the starting window so when you run Enscape at the beginning you usually see here a splash screen and then the Enscape logo and the title so i have i have overwrite overwritten everything here with the a customized logo a customized image for that uh, panel and also like a customized uh, png so you can put watermark you can put an icon you can customize everything here, but I'm just going to put it back as it is in the original, which is this. I'm just going to change the title here to Escape for ArchiCAD or plus ArchiCAD. So this is what we're going to talk about in this course. And then we have here some settings for the navigation. So the mouse speed, etc. Then if you're using 3D device, you can also find some options in there. And also you can decide if you want to pin the escape window on top of the application or not. And that's basically it. So that's for the settings. And then we have a lot of other panels here, which can be expanded or compact. And also if you make the windows larger, you will see all the menus on the top. So if you have the, your windows smaller, they will be all inside the little home menu on the top left so they you need to click in there to see them and i usually use this split screen setup so i can see both in both software if you click on the question mark icon on top right then you will access the help or you can press h and you can find here the basic movement keys so up and down and then walk and fly look around with the left orbit with the right, pan with the middle mouse, teleport, double click. So if you double click quickly, we'll get you where you want to go in your scene and other stuff that we're going to see later. So that's just to show you again, the overall interface, how everything is set up here to work with the landscape in ArchiCAD. And uh, so we synchronize the views, but uh, let me close. So here you can, See also there are things about the sun, etc. So I'm, I'm going to close that and I can open it up anytime if I want. So I can keep everything compact or I can 
use extra panels here and also the menus on the top if I expand the window. And we're gonna talk about those all those later. So I'm just gonna show you the, the third, which is actually the second button from the top here in this uh, menu, in this toolbar, because again, these three are, are the most important three. So the first one is to start Netscape. The second one is to live update. So to synchronize your 3D geometry and on, not only your, your view. So if I select this roof and I delete it, you can see it, it immediately deletes also in the Enscape. And this is because you have live updates on, which is on by default. But if it's accidentally turned off, then if you change something in ARCHICAD, so let's say now I will delete a wall. So select that wall and then just hit the delete key and that, or just delete it, you know, anyhow. And you can see it's not updated in the Enscape window. So live updates, really important. So make sure it's on. And this will be all for this first lesson. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated for more videos. Also join the channel to support us and thank us. And also check out other video courses and video guides that we publish every day in the channel. So thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.